Hi, we're here again with another Careers Chat for Careers Week. Uh, we wanted to share with you some interesting and different careers that you may or may not have thought about and to cover how you may get into this type of work. Now, I'm a letting agent and I'm primarily focused in the property industry. So what we're trying to illustrate, I suppose, is that in just one industry, there are so many different and varied job roles that you could get into. So today we have another guest and that is... Alex Evans. Um, and to be honest, I don't really have a job title, uh, but the official one will probably be director. <laughs> uh, and what's the what's the company name that you run, Alex? Uh, the company name is Dark Knight Designs, but we trade as estate apps. And so we started out doing apps, hence the company name. Um, that was about 12 years ago. Um, however, most of what we do now is websites. So apps, the word apps still is fitting because nowadays web applications are websites or anything else connected to various data sources. So it works quite well anyway. But that's what we do. Always been interested in technology to a certain degree. Uh, I, in school, I was focused on IT. Um, back then, they didn't have all the fancy names that they have for it now. Um, it was just called IT. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, that's that's where I, it started. And I thought, well, uh, you know, me, my personality back then was, I didn't really want to listen to anyone else tell me what to do. Um, so I thought, hmm, the only way I'm going to get buy is if I started off something myself so that's basically what I did when I left school at 18 I started it when I was 17 but I left college when I was 18 19 I think yeah. um, did you do uh, GCSEs then and and did you do any college yeah I did course? GCSEs yeah yeah did I did I, I did GCSEs yes uh, I didn't do very well in them um, but that's because well for multiple reasons um, but uh, but yeah generally I just didn't school didn't really work for me I'll be honest school didn't school was not my best moments um i then went to college i did a little bit better at college than i did in school because i felt it was a bit more relaxed um but uh, yeah so anyway so so in in college i did it uh, intermediate because i didn't do very well at um you know uh, school uh, gcse sorry uh, and then i had to do advanced so that totally was three years so i ended up i think leaving college when i was about 19 you know, actually back then um so yeah but i'd set up my business when i was 17 it took me a long time to actually start getting anywhere um but i knew that this is what i wanted to do this is how i ha i had to do it yeah. so i just kept persevering um and that was uh no uh, unfortunately i had to pay the bills <laughs> uh, <laughs> so so no i worked what i would consider not great jobs so i did sainsbury's for a little couple of years i did b and q for i started work when i was about 15 so I had, to, you know, I had various things I, I, I had to get, you know, to do to get by. Um, so, yes, and that's what basically kept me alive. Um, and, yeah, and that's where it went, really. I bought my own, I started, bought, buy, I started a mortgage on my own house when I was 19, well, pretty much when I left college. Um, but that's because, again, I knew where I wanted to go and what I wanted to do. Um, so. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't officially pay myself for about 11 years um i just kept regurgitating the million money back into the business so obviously to keep going obviously made a ton of mistakes in terms of going with marketing things that just didn't work yellow pages as a perfect example back then kids nowadays won't know what that is what, but, no, that is <laughs> nonetheless, <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't matter it was a big book it's big, a big, big book, book. strong man used to rip it off <laughs> yeah that's, uh, that's it on one. youtube <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but no uh, made a hell of a lot of mistakes in terms of wasting money on stuff that just didn't do anything um i got to a certain point where I, I, there there was a crunch moment obviously my bills were mounting up in terms of house mortgage and so on so uh i got to a crunch point that crunch point could simply was i went to the pub one day me and my pal were chatting i was telling him look do you know what I'm, i think i need to stop doing what i'm doing because i'm struggling um uh He's uh, obviously explained the situation and so on. My problem back then, and I, I now know that was a problem, but again, hindsight is a wonderful thing. What I was is a web designer to all um, different business types. And because of that, I actually found it very hard to actually do any advertising, marketing for everything. Because obviously, that's, it's just too broad. Um, my pal suggested, and I can't take the credit for this, suggested, why don't you just niche in something? Why don't you get, pick an industry and get good at it um, and just focus on that? um 
took that away uh, within a year, really made that uh, a thing. Uh, property obviously was something I was interested in anyway, because obviously I started really early in that. Um, and yeah, and that's where it started, really. That was the drive for it. Um, apps was the first thing I started, because obviously I, I, I basically identified that no one was doing apps back then. So when I say apps, I mean iPhone, uh, Android, actual downloadable apps. Um, so just, you know, property search, simple stuff. Um, but no one, luckily for me, no one was doing that at the time. Um, so that's where I started, uh, got, a, uh, started to build up the business that way. Uh, again, wasn't easy, but managed to get into a few, uh, agencies that are well, 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 well respected. Um, after that app started to die out, uh, because obviously website responsiveness became a thing. So websites that just do this, whichever screen you go on, um, uh, and that's when I pivoted. Uh, luckily for me, my little brother, Adam, uh, is a little tech genius. He's 10 years younger than me. So he joined my team. Um, um, and so, it became, so basically my brother took us a hell of a lot further forward than we were at that, that point in terms of technology. Um, and yeah, and that's where it all went, really. Well, I, 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 to be fair, I have this question a lot. Uh, for me, uh, education wasn't my avenue. Um, no one has ever said to me, oh, so what you, what, what you, what you say did you get? Apart from you, just a minute ago. <laughs> 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 um, so uh, because mine are rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, well, then that makes me feel better. Um, no, um, experience. It's experience all the way. Uh, I've always found that. Even in random job, uh, I talk to my pals, just, just seeing them and where they've gone with their careers. It was, no, it was not really about qualifications. It was more about experience and just getting on the ground just doing stuff working hard you know so um, just, just a just quick question key. on that then companies like yourselves do you take on like apprentices and internships is that the sort of thing that someone could like look at doing uh, or is there another way in if that's not the way if you know what i mean we we have to be fair we have done that in the past i know that obviously that is a big thing in the it uh, industry now as well so yeah I'm, i mean I'm sh i assume obviously now you know covid times um but um might be a little bit different but um yeah no, i mean we have done apprenticeships before um they've worked quite well um but yeah uh, it's, it's we're always looking on the lookout it's just yeah it's just timing isn't it like what's catapulted my business actually is nothing to do with technology i mean we're good at it and and we and we talk a lot about it however the bit that's really changed the business direction and and and, and how much we're known is networking is actually talking to people, getting on, just just going to events, to just talking to people that I obviously didn't know before, um, and just getting in their faces, you know, uh, and making yeah. sure they know who we are. Uh, and over the course of time, that pays dividends, more dividends I could possibly imagine, because it's it's, it's just it's just repeat business all yeah. the time, and you know, yeah. do a good job. Again, another one people forget, but do a good job, get a review for it. That will that will result in more business. You know, I don't yeah. employ salespeople. Everything I do yeah. is referral based. You know, I think it's interesting because obviously we don't work together because being part of a franchise yeah. network is is difficult. But I know of you, and I want to speak to you because I know of you. It's like that word of mouth thing, yeah, isn't yeah. it? And if anyone ever asks yeah, about yeah. web design, I always mention you. I don't mention anybody else. You know, so you, yeah. you're spot on there. To be honest, when if if listen, if I was building a business seriously, I would look. I would focus first on. Um, trying to build that social proof, trying to build a reputation, because that's what matters. 